Isn't it already illegal for someone to give someone death threats or calls to violence against someone online? Isn't that already illegal? So why do we need a task force to stop bullying, harassment, and abuse? Many of our laws have not caught up with the advances in technology. So as a United States Senator, I introduced legislation to make these acts a federal crime. And thanks to the recent, and our President, Joe Biden, and the recent reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, for the first time, cyber exploitation victims can sue their abusers in federal civil court. Well, that would be fair if that's all it was doing, but that's not all this is doing. And this is progress. Yet, we still have so much more work to do to protect people from online harassment and abuse. Why is that the government's job? Don't we have the First Amendment? Which is why the work of this task force is so important. Context. Well, the Internet is an essential part of life in the 21st century. Can't get around it. Can't get around without it. And for far too many people, and Sloan told her story, the Internet is a place of fear. One in three women under the age of 35 report being sexually harassed online. Which can range from actual sustained sexual harassment, which is messed up, which they should probably, you know, get their account terminated for, to someone just making a joke about someone's appearance. Over half of the LGBTQ plus people in our country are survivors of severe harassment. So should it be a federal crime for someone to call me a faggot online? Nearly one in four Asian Americans report being called an offensive name, usually motivated by racism, being called an offensive name online. And do you think that should be a federal crime? And black people who have been harassed online in our country are three times more likely to be targeted, again, because of their race. And do you think we should bypass the First Amendment and have the government get involved in that kind of thing? No one should have to endure abuse just because they are attempting to participate in society. Well, I mean, people who promote stupid ideas should be able to be criticized in mean ways for pushing those kinds of stupid ideas. Now, I don't think it's a good thing that people are being mean, but if you start to make being mean illegal, we're, we're going to run into a real problem, especially with the First Amendment. So let us be clear. No one should be afraid that an abuser will use their private personal data or that a person's private personal data will be used against them. That's fair, but that's not all this thing does. And all people deserve to use the Internet free from fear. Look, I agree that people shouldn't have the fear that someone's going to dox them or someone's going to give them death threats. That's fair. That's totally fair. But if you're saying that people shouldn't have any fear of uh, repercussions for stupid things that they've said, no. No, if you say something stupid, you should be able to be called out for it. And let's be clear, these kind of rules are only going to be applied on one side. We know this. You'll be able to say anything you want against the majority demographic or a demographic that is considered to have power. Anything you want against those, but you can't say hardly anything against those who are considered to not have power. Okay, you know that's the way it's going to go. This task force, then will tackle a threat that has been far too real for far too many people for far too long. And the recommendations of this group and the extended, extended group of experts and those who have been advocates in this space for so long, the collective work will help modernize the federal government's response to violence against women and people of all genders. Well, again, it's totally fair to want to stop violent threats and doxing and things of that nature. Okay, but this would allow the government to step in and tell people they can't be mean. 
Okay, nope, no being mean online, making it a federal crime to be mean to someone if you are saying it to a group that is considered oppressed. It will lead to more evidence-informed policies and interventions, and it will support more federal funding to address online harassment and abuse, including grants to train law enforcement and prosecutors. Kind of sounds like you want to implement the kind of crap that the UK has. It is incumbent on all of us, government, local law enforcement, and the tech sector, to respond to the task at hand with a sense of urgency. So it just kind of seems that the things that aren't very important are considered urgent, and the things that should be considered urgent are considered not very important. So I thank you all for your tireless fight and for your advocacy, for your strength to prevent these harms from happening in the first place and to hold perpetrators accountable. And the President and I look forward to hearing all of your recommendations. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. Look, I will leave a link in the description bar to the memorandum on the establishment of the White House Task Force to address online harassment and abuse. I will leave a link to that page. You can read it for yourself, look at it, and decide for yourself what it means. But this is very concerning to me. It's, it's similar to the disinformation board. You know, it's, it's seeking to do similar things. That disinformation board didn't go over very well, and I hope this doesn't go over very well either. We like the First Amendment.